Hello and welcome, I am Sim UK and today I want to highlight the 20 biggest issues with Snooker 19. Before I start, I do want to clarify that despite all of the issues I'm about to mention, I still do thoroughly enjoy Snooker 19 and still maintain that Snooker 19 is the best snooker game available today, but it could and indeed should be so much better, especially for the price. The purpose of highlighting these 20 issues today is to make sure that you as the consumer are fully aware of the game's issues and current limitations. I also hope it will serve the developers well when they prioritise game improvements. If you feel I have missed anything, please let me know in the comments section below. I will start with the least significant issues and count down to the most significant and serious ones. First of all, the game has no replay or shot slash game save options. This is most infuriating, especially when you play a shot that you expect to go well and it doesn't turn out as you expect. There's no way to remove the power bar's numerical value. This is okay if you're playing on easy, but I feel once you move up to the pro level, it should be removed. Because it has a numerical value, it makes the game far too linear. You can be precise every single time. That's not really how snooker is played. Overall, the menu system I find to be very buggy and really quite poorly designed. There's certainly not enough information and details available. If you're knocked out of a tournament, you can't see how other players performed, for example. I found that backspace and enter often do exactly the same thing, and there is no way currently to use the mouse to proceed through menu screens either. In addition to all of that, the loading times are, I feel, unnecessarily long. I have mentioned this before in my original review, the crowd visually and audibly are very poor. These are two areas which really boost immersion and should be addressed. All of the AI players are exactly the same. They are incredibly linear. I feel they should all have a percentage skills based algorithm instead. This means that top tiered players would make their shots, for example, 95% of the time. This means that theoretically, one of the top players could easily miss three shots in a row, but it's incredibly unlikely. That way, you could have different values for different shot types, long shots, swerve shots, slow shots, safety shots, and each AI player would be different to play against as a result. In addition to that, if we had our own character creation opportunities, then our own characters could also have stats based on how accurate we are with certain shot types too. I'm glad to see that Snooker 19 has an online multiplayer tournament, but unfortunately there are no players, which means very long waiting times. What really adds salt to the wound is the fact that when you do finally find a match, you only get to play one match before you have to then go and sit and wait in the lobby again. Perhaps changing this to three games would be easier. It's a shame that in 2019 a game releases of such a high profile where the keybinds are not editable. Unfortunately, the way they have decided that we play quite often is the reverse of what I naturally feel should be the case. Be disappointed with that shot. One area where the crowd absolutely fail is when you play an excellent plant shot. For some reason, I never receive an applause, ever, despite how good or how complicated that plant shot was. When the cue ball is up tight against a cushion, it is understandable that you can only play a top spin shot, for example. But when the cue ball is sat over a pocket, you do have the ability to play a backspin shot in that circumstance. Unfortunately, I think it's been really rather poorly implemented in Snooker 19. The commentary team in Snooker 19, whilst very good, often get their analysis completely wrong. Quite often they will be talking about something that hasn't even happened on the table. Expanding more on AI logic, especially with safety shots, 
They are coded to make mistakes rather than having skills-based likelihood of missing, which I mentioned earlier. The AI also don't apologise when potting a very lucky ball, and the AI are pretty poor at splitting the pack when break building. Not to say that I'm particularly good either, but when I'm playing against the AI Ronnie O'Sullivan, I expect him to show me how to play well. The game has a number of bugs. The only one that I've really encountered so far, with the exception of players standing in the table, is the illegal snooker bug. Now, I, I have researched this and I have looked into this quite considerably. I have yet to confirm if this is a bug or perhaps there's some sort of abnormal rule that I'm not particularly au fait with, whereby I cannot play a simple snooker behind uh, a brown ball or a yellow ball it's possible that it is a rule that i'm not aware of and if that's the case please let me know in the comments section but as i understand it this is a bug and there are other bugs that people have mentioned that i personally haven't run into but uh, yes they obviously do need to be sorted out Despite having official TV camera positions for all tables and events, the camera angles are shockingly bad, often blocking the pot or the miss, making things very difficult for you as a player. The ability to concede a game or even possibly a match uh, doesn't actually come with a confirmation, so if you accidentally click on one when you try to click on the other, mistakes are easily made. There is no way of going back, and this is a common theme with Snooker 19, as you will see from here on in. 21. Selecting a colour, when it's not clear which ball you are going to be playing for, you cannot look at the table to see if a shot is on. So effectively, you have to guess whether or not you can play the blue ball, the brown ball, the yellow, the pink... This is totally unacceptable and we are now getting into the top five things now and these are the top five things that I feel makes Nuka 19 less good value for money. I think these are the most serious issues that the developers need to look at. When it's your turn to break you obviously have to place the cue ball. Unfortunately if you accidentally click on the mouse and place the cue ball before you're ready or in a position that you didn't actually want it in there is no way of going back and replacing it this is just ridiculous there's no practice table again this is so important for snooker not only will it improve your game in real life it will improve your game on snooker 19. why isn't there a practice table this has to be addressed at this price Again, there's no character creation. I highlighted this in my review, and it is a significant problem. I, I understand that they tried to cut corners by not having a creation tool for characters, but this has really, really been a terrible decision. If the game was £15 or £20, you could excuse this, but at £30, we have to be able to create our own characters, even if we have to pick an generic character face i wouldn't mind that i would like my name my character my skills my information graphically at least on the pc because i haven't played on xbox one or ps4 the graphics are terrible you can see that the anti-aliasing is completely ineffective it looks so bad on the pc that uh you know AI characters' feet grow and shrink just as they stand there. It is awful to look at. It also makes the game look pretty awful. There's a lot of jitteriness when the balls are moving about, something I didn't really pick up on in my review, but having played quite a lot of Snooker 19 since then, it is now something that I can no longer not see. It's becoming a serious problem. And the most significant problem for me whilst playing on PC, and I'm not sure if this is across the board, maybe it doesn't affect Xbox One and PS4 players, I really don't know, but the power bar stutters. It certainly seems to be worse on PC than anything else, but it makes the game almost unplayable. 
The only way I have discovered that I can play this game with these stutters on the power bar is to let the power bar go all the way up to the top without clicking two or three times so that I can see where the stutters are and try and overcome them that way. So guys, that is my top 20 biggest problems with Snooker 19 right now. Hopefully the developers will start ticking these issues off and we can get on with enjoying Snooker 19 because what it does do well, it does exceptionally well. This feels so authentic, so good, but sometimes, sometimes it does throw you a curveball that you just don't want to see in a game of Snooker. If I've forgotten to mention anything or you know of something that I don't, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And if you found this video interesting, then please hit the like button. If nothing else, it may make it a little bit easier for the developers to find this video and hopefully they can start fixing these problems. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.